Good morning, Guardians. Briar Rabbit here. Yesterday was a huge news day for Destiny fans, so we've got a lot to talk about this morning. First of all, update 2.4.0 was released to the public yesterday. It includes a massive amount of new information. If you want a full breakdown of that new information, including weapon balance updates, take a look at yesterday's video where I broke them all down, or check out Bungie's webpage where they go through them piece by piece in a text format. Uh, there was some stuff that wasn't necessarily included in that update. Uh, obviously, we saw the Trespasser exotic sidearm became available. So if you have some spare special exotic weapons hanging around, you can pop those and uh, chances are pretty high that you can actually get a Trespasser exotic sidearm. You can use this in the Crucible or in PvE. Uh, I'm frankly waiting until I can use my exotic engrams to get higher light level gear because that's my main concern and an exotic sidearm I don't think is going to be that useful in the raid however it is a new weapon and that's pretty exciting I wonder if this was a bug on Bungie's side or if they just wanted to give us a little taste of the future we also got a sneak peek at ornaments for exotic weapons. This is pretty easy to do yourself as well. All you have to do is inspect a weapon in your inventory, mouse over to the ornaments section, inspect that, and you get a sneak peek. Uh, you can't obviously equip these yet. They're not in the game. You can't actually go and get them yet. However, you can see what they look like in some of them, especially this one for the invective. I think it looks phenomenal. We also can now apply shaders to many class items in the game. It's not 100% of the class items, but some of them look fantastic. I especially like the Tanix cloak on the Hunters. The most controversial part of Update 2.4.0 so far has clearly been the, the nerf to snipers. Now, the most popular snipers in the game are getting more flinch, less aim assist, and reduced damage. So they'll no longer be able to one-shot kill a Guardian in a super if he has high armor stats. Now, people who've hung around this channel for a long time know that I've advocated a lot of these changes for a long time. Uh, increasing the flinch and decreasing the aim assist on the longbow, the LDR, uh, that type of sniper rifle makes a lot of sense to me because it gives somebody a reason to use a lower impact sniper rifle. If lower impact sniper rifles have more aim assist, they're a little bit easier to get a headshot off of with, but you're penalized more for getting a body shot. There's a nice trade off there. And I think that's also what they're going for with the reduction in headshot damage so that you can no longer reliably kill a guardian in a super. If you want that ability, then you've got to make a trade off. You've got to go with a weapon that can do that like the black spindle, possibly more if they're introduced in Rise of Iron. But if you go with the black spindle, then you've got to deal with a slower fire rate. That to me is an interesting trade off. I like that quite a bit. So I actually really enjoy these changes to the sniper rifles. I'd love to hear what you guys think. I know that this is very controversial. I'd love to hear what you guys think, but let's keep it civil in the comments. The last thing I want to talk about in regards to update 2.4.0 is that there's actually a huge amount of unannounced changes to Destiny since the patch. Uh, if you check out the Destiny subreddit, there's a huge mega thread right up at the top. I'll put a link in the description so you can check it out yourself. There's far too many of these to actually go over in this video. Uh, some of the notables, though, do include the Nightfall is now on a rotation between Valus to Arc and the Saber Strike. And the Saber Strike actually has new SIVA effects in it. Revive times have been reverted back to their pre-April update fast time. The Gunsmith has a new role on a beast of a Tuanella SR4. All Iron Banner bounties have been deleted. This pissed me off. The Sleeper Simulant has actually been nerfed. Faction Sparrows have been added to the loot pool for packages. And Earth in the directory screen is now showing the Plaguelands and Fellwinter's Peak. So that's pretty interesting. There's a lot of interesting stuff in this mega thread. Honestly, guys, check this one out because there is far too much to go over and a lot of it is really interesting. Our last story of the day has to do with hand cannons and inaccuracy in the Crucible. Turbo Rec created a video yesterday. He released this thing on YouTube yesterday and it is highly informative. You guys have got to check out this video. I will put a link in the description. Essentially what he did here was get a bunch of friends into a rumble match in the Crucible and then did some testing on how accurate 
hand cannons were in the crucible now a lot of talk has been said about bloom on hand cannons and how you have to center your sights and let the gun come to rest before you fire again or you'll see some accuracy problems what triple wreck proves in this video is that it doesn't matter how long your gun comes to rest the bullets are not going where we aim them what he does is he actually lines up the sight with his opponent's head uh, neither one of them are moving uh, they're both in the same state, so hopefully, you know, lag isn't an issue here. He fires his weapon with the sight directly on the person's head, and it misses. And he does this over and over and over again. You can see the results of this with many weapons, even an auto rifle. Uh, and what this proves is that there are, in fact, ghost bullets in Destiny. This is something that the community has been talking about for a long time. Bungie says, no, they're not ghost bullets. There's you know, bloom on hand cannons, but this is not bloom on hand cannons. This is just bullets not going where they're intended to go. Even when they're the first bullet out of your weapon, they can sometimes just miss your target. And it's very frustrating to see this happen. And uh, Triple Wreck, I think did a really good job of displaying exactly what's going on here. Uh, Deej actually responded to it saying, this week at Bungie was authored earlier today. Perhaps we'll talk about ghost bullets some other time. I'll chat with the team tomorrow. So this was important enough that even Deej responded to it, and he responded to it basically right away. Uh, so I got to thank Triple Rec for bringing this to everybody's attention, for doing the testing, bring, putting out the video, uh, and showing exactly what's going on here. Because as we all know, hand cannons can be extremely annoying to use when you feel like you've hit somebody. Uh, and the bullet just does nothing. Uh, the last word I think is famous for this, but many other hand cannons and many other weapons actually display this as well. And that can make the shooter part of Destiny not feel very good in the Crucible. So that's gonna do it for today, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Hit that like button if you liked the video. Hit subscribe if you're new to the channel. And I'll see you guys next time.